It's not that we think there's going to be something great beyond the passage. We just like the idea of being the first humans on the face of the planet to set foot in a virgin part of the cave. Although, if we found a hidden treasure, that would be fine with us. You got to throw the hidden treasure stuff in there, right? Of course. I feel well, like yeah. that's what that has to be a thing that people don't care about. When you were younger, when you used to play around, did you hope that you would stumble up, up, up upon some kind of money, like oh, gold or something? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, you come across a chest. I feel like that for some I, th- that has to be lost in these younger generations, dude. Yeah, the kids don't know. Kids with their TikToks from their these iPhones ain't like, looking for pirate treasure. Yeah, no they more. don't look for pirate treasure anymore. They're just too worried about TikTok dancing and changing what? sexualities. I tell you what, Obama's America took it took yeah. the treasure maps <laughs> Obama, away from us. They took the tread. <laughs> they took the treasure maps away. <laughs> they took the treasure maps away and made people want to be dogs. Back when I was a kid, you go out with your buddies, and then Jerry gets bit by a copperhead, and he died out in the woods like a man. Yeah, back now when what they, you you hook you get hooked up on dialysis and live for forty years. Yeah, exactly. You either I, get I, bit in my by country, a, you get bit by a copperhead, or you and your buddies do some things that you keep. T- some secrets to your grave. You you and your buddies go out there, you find your dad's moonshine bottle, and you make some mistakes. You we, don't we, tell we, nobody except your assistant pastor, then you don't go to that church no more. Well, we call it mistakes, but really they're happy accidents. There, there, there's some happy accidents. That's what I tried to tell the assistant preacher. He got me out of that church. I, as a matter of fact, he threatened to register me with the state of Illinois. So I, that's why I told the family we were moving to... Uh, out of Detroit because right. you know the business was gone in the region. That's why we're down here now. Right. But I look. I'm I'm just saying that that is the kind of heart. No one wants to work anymore. Okay. You know so that's I why say, that's why this country's brought us to. I, sometimes the cucumber tastes better pickled. <laughs> <laughs> so how? 